I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss differentiability of functions. Many of my viewers on YouTube have this question. Now when we talk about differentiability of functions, we are actually looking for some points where the function is not differentiable in its domain. Normally the functions are differentiable in most part of the domain. So first let us look into the domain itself. So there are polynomials, so any polynomial function will be differentiable all throughout, right? So there is no restriction. Polynomials are smooth graphs, so polynomials do not have any problems as far as differentiability is concerned. However, there are functions like square root function, right? So let us say square root function. Now here we have a very restricted domain. Since the domain is restricted, we will find that the function is not differentiable on the edge of the domain. So square root x, what is the domain for this function? The domain for this function is x should be greater than or equal to 0. And what we find is that f dash x does not exist, let me write does not exist at x equals to zero so that is the corner at which it is not existing right if i graph this function then how is it going to look like so let me draw a graph here to show you the graph also right so we'll just combine all the things together so that we understand and you know we have a complete picture of what we're talking about so square root x is kind of like this so you see this corner the starting point the limit does not exist from the left side and that is one reason why it is not differentiable. So when I say limit then what am I trying to say? I am trying to come to the basic definition of differentiability and that is that f dash x is equals to limit h approaches 0 for f of a plus h uh, minus f of a over h. Now I've kind of modified instead of x I'm writing a here I'm writing x equals to a here right so I should have written f dash a. Since we're trying to figure out at which point it is not differentiable. So limit you could see if I approach this point from the left side then it does not exist from the right side it does exist and therefore there is since this limit does not exist we say algebraically that the function is not differentiable at this particular point, right? Let me go further ahead with this particular function uh, to show you exactly uh, how we could actually, you know, develop the whole idea. So let me write now a general equation and then we'll get back to the point A, right? So we'll say, we'll use the basic definition, which is x plus h minus square root of x over h, right? To solve this, what we need to do. So I'm like saving on space. So to solve this, we need to multiply and divide by its conjugate, correct? So what I will do is I'll multiply by square root x plus h plus square root x over h over square root x plus h plus square root x. So that is called rationalization. Once you rationalize, what do you get? You get difference of squares on the top, right? So you get x plus h minus x on the top and the denominator will be h times all this, which is square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Now here you could clearly see that x minus x is zero. So what you get here is, let me go ahead to this side. We get limit h approaches zero, and the numerator is h, right? And the denominator will be h times square root of x plus h plus square root of x, right? Now h and h cancel out. You can now substitute the value of h as 0 here. So what do you get? You get 1 over 2 square root x, right? 1 over 2 square root x. So at any point on this particular graph, the slope of the tangent line, which is the derivative of the function, right? So when you understand derivative, we are talking about, uh, let me write in a different thing, slope of tangent line.
So slope of tangent line is defined by this expression. Do you see that? Now what happens when x is 0? So at 0, you can clearly see here what happens is f dash at 0 is equal to what? 1 over 2 times 0, which does not exist. Do you see that? So, so we could see from here that it is it does not exist and therefore algebraically also we can prove that square root x is not differentiable at origin right so so this is a point where it is not differentiable correct similarly you could take a function which is let us take now a function 1 over x let me take 1 over x minus 1 now here what do we know we know that the domain does not take care of x equals to 1. If I write x equals to 1, then it becomes 1 over 0. You understand, right? So, so what happens? If I sketch a graph of this function, I really get a function which is kind of like this. Let us sketch it. So it is going to be like this. It has discontinuity at x equals to 1, right? So, so there is a discontinuity at x equals to 1. Now, since 1 is not in the domain, how can you draw a tangent there, right? So, so you cannot draw a tangent at x equals to 1, and therefore, this function is not differentiable, right? So, we do have examples where algebraically we have shown that at 1 over x minus 1, the formula which you get is 1 over x minus 1 whole square, right? So, so if you go ahead and do all these calculations, let me write in a different thing, then you will say f dash of, uh, of 1 over x minus 1, I, I'm not sure, I should write, okay, uh, is actually equals to 1 over x minus 1 whole square, right? So, you'll find that this is not differentiable at x equals to 1, correct? So, so, you could do the same calculations and algebraically you will get the result, correct? Similarly, we have also discussed many times one very important function and that is absolute x, right? So, absolute x. Now, absolute x is a function which has a corner, right? So, which has a corner. If you sketch this function, you get like this, correct? So at zero, this function is not differentiable, right? Algebraically, also, you can prove it since, you know, you can draw as many tangents here. If you approach from the right side, the slope is positive 1. If you approach from left side, slope is negative 1. So the derivative does not exist at x equals to 0. Do you see that? So if you do algebraically, what do you get? You will get f dash at 0, let us say, will be a limit age approaches 0. For details, you can of course go to the video and check all the details, but this is in short, right? So we are using the same formula. So at 0, I'll write 0 plus h, right? So absolute value of 0 plus h, that is my function, minus absolute value of 0 over h, right? So that gives us limit h approaches 0. Absolute value of 0 plus h is absolute h. This is 0, and so you are left with absolute h over h. As you can very clearly see, the limit, this does not exist. Reason is that the limit, when you approach from the negative side, then for absolute value of h over h, it is negative 1, right? This is negative 1. But the limit as h approaches 0 from the positive side, for absolute h over h, is positive 1. They are not same, right? Since these limits are not equal, these two limits are not equal, we say that the limit does not exist at 0. So that is how you can prove it algebraically. Do you understand? So what we have seen here is that you could provide reasons from the domain itself that a point is not in the domain. Well, that could be one from the graph. Now, in graph, we will take few more examples. I'm running out of space, so we'll take them separately also. So, examples will be, uh, let me consider two different functions here in limited space. One is cube root. Now, when I do cube root of a function, then, you know, the graph is kind of like this. Cube root is kind of like this. I purposely drawing here. What you do here is, if you plot a tangent here, this tangent is vertical. So, so vertical tangent does not have a defined slope, right? So, so the reason is vertical tangent. 
So if there is a vertical tangent, then function is not differentiable. So, so that is another very big reason for functions not being differentiable, right? So, so that is a vertical tangent case. Here the point is in the domain, right? The function is defined, so x belongs to real numbers in this case. However, there's a vertical tangent and therefore it is not differentiable. Similarly, we could have another example of a cusp, right? Which is like this function, correct? So, so this particular point here, a cusp, that point is not differentiable. Here also, if I'm approaching from left side and from right side, we are approaching a tangent which is kind of vertical. Do you see that? So and that, these are the reasons why a function may not be differentiable at a particular point, right? You will see, however, for all these functions, they are all differentiable in most of their domain. So one uh, which we have considered is absolute. One example, which let me squeeze it in here, for absolute x over x will be a step function, right? Now, graph of this particular function will be kind of if it is positive this side and and this side correct so i've just squeezed in this graph here uh, just to give you you know more more examples correct and of course the values are as you know one and minus one so step discontinuity right so it is a discontinuity of the kind of jump discontinuity so we could say See, the other reasons which contribute to differentiability or non-differentiability will be discontinuities of the type step discontinuity, right? So, step discontinuity and infinite, infinite discontinuity. So, they also contribute to non-differentiability at a particular point, right? So, depending on the type of function you have, you can provide one of these reasons to to answer it right so i hope with this video we have combined all the thoughts which are floating here and there in the form of hundreds of videos at one place and i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best